Welcome to the new Cretone Entertainment. I'm Chris. And I'm still Brie. And it's new in the sense that we rebranded. We I mean, did? well, not really. We got a new logo now. Anyway, we got an ambitious new schedule, and we're starting off with an ambitious video. We're painting Skeletor from Clash for Eternia using our Citadel Rust Gray for no other reason than we still have a pot of Citadel Rust Gray. Uh, if you recall from previous videos, I am working on getting rid of all my Games Workshop paints because reasons, but they're not that relevant. But uh, for the hero, the Clash of a, what's this game called? I don't know. Clash for Attorney. Clash for Attorney. Yeah, we're gonna play games of this eventually. Yes, eventually we will get around to actually playing this game instead of just looking at the models and going, ooh, ah. Uh. So I've been putting more care into these models than I have into some other models that we have uh, with some of the speed painting techniques and whatnot. And since we already did He-Man, I figure it's probably a good time to go ahead and do Skeletor. And no, we are not gonna do any Skeletor. The more you know memes, or see you next time memes, or whatever the heck you actually call that meme format, it's just not here. But anyway, we're painting all the fleshy areas with rust gray. Uh, we're going to be back on our schedule of Monday miniature videos. Uh, we, we're kind of re-emphasizing the channel a little bit. This is not going to age well if you like watch this in a year. Yeah. But uh, if you're watching at the beginning of October 2023, uh, we're trying to reformat the channel into a, uh, a between a three and a five day a week schedule. We're on the fence exactly how many it's going to be. Because stuff and things. Because life. But right now the idea is miniatures for Monday. Uh, so we're going to paint minis on Mondays. We're going to do something tabletop on Tuesday. It can be a war game. It can be a board game. It can be anything in between as long as it's about a tabletop game of some kind. Uh, war gaming Wednesdays. Things we like Thursday where kind of anything goes, man. We're just going to go friggin' nuts. It's going to be amazing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And, and while we're going nuts, we're going to go ahead and use Space Wolves Gray, a contrast paint, as our wash for Skeletor skin. So we're just going to go right over that rust gray. And what this is going to do is when... The contrast kind of flows into the darkest parts of the model, the, the lowest recesses. Mm -hmm. It's going to leave the lighter blue-gray of the rust gray on top rather than showing off like the white undercoat or the gray undercoat, whichever you end up doing. So it's going to have a little more tint to it. Uh, and then Friday is going to be Formation Friday. We're going to talk about um, list building, uh, game prep, uh, things like that. We want to refocus into more of a uh, into a war gaming. Uh, well, not really war gaming, but just gaming channel as opposed to just painting. Uh, Power Rangers, which was kind of our initial stick as we go back in with our rust gray now. Ooh. So now that's all dried, we're effectively using that new color in the deepest areas. Yep. Uh, and we're highlighting over that with the rust gray. So we're leaving the deepest parts of, of like, the, his rippling bulges. Yep, Skeletor, that's what I have to. Skeletor was ripped. He was jacked. He skipped head day a lot. That's why he's all, you know, bones up there. Wow. And he has no neck. Like, I, liter like literally has no neck. His skull just kind of floats in the cartoon. Well, because, like, he's got the hood. I think the hood is acting as, like, a containment unit for the skull. And the body... <gasps> I know what it is. What's that? Skeletor is actually Richard Nixon from Futurama. It's just it's just Agnew's body. Spirit Agnew's body with Richard Nixon on the top? Yeah. I mean, he is about as competent as Richard Nixon. <laughs> and evil. And evil. Hey. He, he's about as evil. Oh, no, Skeletor is less evil. Yes. Skeletor at least lightened up at Christmas one time. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, so this is the Vallejo. They call it dark blue. Really, it's more of a purple, but it's still definitely a blue. Uh, this has kind of become like my go-to base coat purple in a lot of cases. Purple. I don't know. I just really... That's what I said, isn't it? Purple. Purply. It's my purply. It's purply. Pure plea. There we go. Pure plea. Purply. I like that. Anyway. I'm really hoping this microphoning is coming out okay. We have this microphone that does not like me. Bree's voice always sounds fine. It's because I have sultry dulcet tones. But I always sound like I'm I'm like somewhere else in the universe. It's like breaking up. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm trapped in outer space. Oh, help me. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm now sitting as far back as Bree normally does. And I have no idea what's going to happen. And you guys know the value of Cretonia Entertainment. We don't re-record. Nope. <laughs> hey. We're just we're just gonna let it go because that's what we do. Uh, but kind of what I was saying is we want to focus more on being a, a, a gaming channel. With this, what we kind of started as, then it just turned into painting a lot of Power Rangers and then painting random other stuff. We want to actually show you how to play with it. If you're painting miniatures, you should you, learn how to play with your miniatures. You have the capacity to play with your miniatures, and whether that be the game that you currently play. In, in the case of a lot of our followers, it's going to be Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. Yep. Um, you have miniatures that can be used other places. And as we're going to talk about in, in some future videos we already have kind of lined up, uh, there okay. is... Yes, well, I do. I don't tell you about this stuff. Oh, cool. I'm just here. Um, as I don't tell you in future videos that we have lined up, um, there is... Honestly, I think there's a certain disservice you're doing to yourself if you have these miniatures. I hate you so much. I know. And you don't use them 
to their fullest ability. Okay, um, so we've painted all of that with the dark blue. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and get a much thinner little brush. And I forget what I'm doing here. It looks like you're doing a cleanup. What am, what am I doing? Oh, I, are you doing something to his... I'm just painting like some black in between his loincloth, loincloth lines there to give some definitions. Guys, I painted this model months ago. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't remember what I did. Also, I didn't watch the video before we started recording Oh, that's it. even better. It's, that's cr it's Crotone Entertainment. entertainment. We that's, don't... that's what we do. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, but really, you're doing yourself a disservice if you have all these miniatures and you're not using them. And, oh, but I use them. I use my Power Rangers minis once a month on our family game night. Or I use my my Hero Quest figs every time we play Hero Quest once every three months. Well, guys, we don't have to do that as we pull out our Vallejo model color light yellow and our Vallejo game color gun metal. And we progress a little forward Mr. Skeletor here. If you can't figure out where the yellow is going to go, I don't know if I can help you. You may not know who Skeletor is. Skeletor! Um, which is a shame because Skeletor is awesome. Um, oh, he's also Skeletor's great, and also Mark, also Mark Hamill played him, and I don't care what anybody says. I enjoyed Revelation, and I'm glad Revolution is coming out. I am too. Like I'm super, uh, I'm, I'm super I'm, stoked for like, that. Like I legit don't care what anybody said. And honestly, my favorite of the new Star Wars shows is Kenobi, and I don't care what anybody says. And I have lots of reasons for thinking it's Kenobi. Maybe we'll do a Things We Like Thursday, where I talk about the fact that Kenobi is actually a psychological thriller. But anyway, got off track again, like, that, we, no that, like we normally do. I mean, because that is also. So Absolutely guaranteed in Tony Entertainment video. We will get off track. Yeah, we were going to come back with like these new scripted videos. No, you were going to come back with the scripted videos. I was going to like no, I just, mine the, and the, Actually, the, the script was going to have things for you and the, where I was going to speak was just going to say whatever Chris says. Dang. Yeah. I can rip off, riff off the cuff, sir, and stuff and things. You can rip off cuffs too. Aha. Aha. Yeah, this will surely affect my inheritance. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, anywhere that's metally on Skeletor is getting the gunmetal treatment. Mm -hmm. I know. i got to slow it down here, right? Gotta, yeah. Got to make you think. I, you know what? I appreciate Skeletor for his fashion sense in Eternia. Uh, it's very BDSM chic. <laughs> I wasn't going to go there. <laughs> I wasn't, wasn't going to go there. I was going to go into the whole fact that, like, I've always been a big fan of, like, the silver and purple. Well, the, with well, the little, like... Well, see, purple is an evil color. Purple is an evil color in yes. the comic book and, and uh, t kids' TV show world. Uh, red and blue and yellow are your heroic colors. Greens and purples are kind of your scarier colors. Right. That's why Superman has red and blue with a splash of yellow. That's why old Batman was blue with yellow, even though the gray was in there. Uh, Captain America, uh, Iron Man, uh, pick any of them. They all kind of have that blue red motif except for the incredible hulk because he was supposed to be a little more on the scary side actually he was supposed to be gray and purple but then there was a issue with the ink printing and then they're like oh he's green oh he looks better green let's keep him that way yeah but green and purple was an odd one because you have like your the joker the lex luthers mm -hmm. the um anybody else uh, uh loki from marvel uh, dr doom you've got a lot of greens and you've got a lot of purples it's, it's more traditionally a bad guy color and then when you think of he man once again you have those brighter colors you know he's got that he's got that bright silver he's got that red on him he's got you know the red underwear and the red cross in his chest <laughs> and he's got just the just the oiled bronze skin of of zeus or whatever uh, i don't know i don't know where i'm going with this Hercules. uh so we've got this black gray here and we've got what is that that's some color that was bone white i think i think it was bone white yeah we're gonna go with that <laughs> Please hold. Well, dogs. There's dogs in the background. The, the dogs are being the dogs are being so loud I can't see. Um, what? Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. But anyway, you have all those. So Skeletor having the purple is a very natural color choice. Oh, we're doing his underwear. As we should. Ooh, ooh we're blurred out. We're blurred out because we're painting his butt. This was intentional. <laughs> it was. <laughs> the, not. the sensors got the Cretone Entertainment. We've sold out. <laughs> This episode brought to you by Anything But Common Sense. Yeah. No, but that's legit. So we still have no sponsors in Crutoni Entertainment, and that's because we'll never sell out to corporate shills. We please, absolutely would. We please, absolutely please, would. Please sponsor us. I mean... Please, actually, I'm not really desperate for sponsors. No. But that wouldn't that be weird if somebody's like, hey, I want to sponsor you? Somebody did email us and tried to allegedly sponsor us. I'm pretty oh sure it was God. spam email. Yeah, so let me talk, to you, about, email let me talk to you guys about this spam email we got. This is pretty good. I don't know if I have it still. We're uh, talking about something while I look it up. This is good radio. So, in case anybody is not a small business owner... I'm not a small business the owner. In it, the instant you start doing anything small businessy on Instagram or I'm YouTube... Gonna get, I'm going to get a cease and desist for this. ...or any of those things, you start getting these absolutely awful, generic, 
marketing people reaching out to you and going, oh, you seem like you'd be such a good fit for blah, 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 blah. So here we go. Not, this this, came, this actually came into me on your birthday. This is it, by the way, dear YouTube channel representative. Oh, how'd they know my name? <laughs> <laughs> I hope this letter will help you find yourself. Whoa. What? That's actually, that's actually kind of deep. That's actually kind of deep. That's, oh, what are we painting? Why are we painting him white down there? Or Sandy? Uh, we're, we're just prepping. We're pre-prepping his base. Ah, okay. We're pre I think this is, is it the white or the bone white? This, is, this should be the bone white. This is bone white. Yeah, this is bone white. Yeah. We're just pre-prepping his base. Uh, I hope this letter will help you find yourself. My name is... I don't think it really matters if I give you your name because I don't think this is a real person. And I uh, only, and absolutely I, is not. And I only have a first name anyway. Um, Amelia. Nobody's named Amelia. Uh, and I am the PR manager of TopazLabs.com. You guys should all just go to TopazLabs.com and just, just, I don't know. Delete. Send them so many emails, they get spammed up. We're going to get held accountable for this in some way. So this <laughs> is this is my known oil, my new known oil. I've been using the... Um, I forgot the name of the company. What's the name of the company, Brie? Painter. Army Painter. Army Painter. I was Army like, Painter. I'm still not sold on Army Painter's paints, but I love their their, um, their, their dark tone is pretty good. you got to shake the bejesus out of it, or it's got to have a, a really blue tint to it. Uh, but their dark tone is pretty good, and their speed paints are awesome. I'm still not sold on their main paints. Army Painter, feel free to reach out to us. You won't, but that's okay. Um, so anyway, Amelia says she's the PR manager at TopazLabs.com. We are interested in purchasing advertising space on your YouTube channel. It seems like money well spent. Uh, we have been impressed with the quality of your content. This is how I know, this is how I know they haven't watched this. This is how I know they haven't watched the video. And the engagement of your audience. We, we're lucky to get two comments a video, guys. Hey, leave a comment. That helps the algorithm of junk. Uh, yep. This is blue violet. It's like a light purple. Violet, you're turning violet, violet. Violet, you're turning violet blue. Wait, oh, what? Oh. Well. Nope. I think, you know, I think Violet got a bad shake in, she did. in Willy Wonka. She we, absolutely you know, We're going to talk about Willy Wonka one day. There we go. I got, I got we, thoughts. We believe that advertising on your channel will give us a great opportunity to reach our target audience and promote our brand. Unless their brand is self-help, I don't know how they'll find the right people here. Could you please provide us with more information about your advertising rates? Uh, yes, Amelia. My advertising rates are $10,000 a video. I will absolutely sell out and become the biggest fan of TopazLabs.com if you offer me $10,000 a video, especially because I'm planning on putting out five videos a week. Yeah. Uh, and uh, available ad formats. I'll say your name a bunch, but less derisively than I do now. Uh, and <laughs> and targeting options. Uh, scope? Is that what we're talking about? Like a no. scope? Well, no, like your targeting uh, options I'm aware, are like I'm your, aware of what people's, she's saying. your people's. We would also appreciate it if you could share your audience demographics and engagement met metrics with us. That's actually what I'm doing right now. I'm sharing with the demographic. Um, the demographic. Hey, demographic. My personal email is attached for further communication. I don't think this is your per personal email. I think that's a lie. We look forward to hearing from you and hope to begin a fruitful collaboration. Nope. Thank you for your time and consideration. Best regards, Amelia, PR manager at Topaz Labs. Guys, this is what happens when you get a scam email. And then I read it, and then it's actually kind of funny. Yeah, but you know what the best part is? You know, they, what te you know what Topaz Labs does? Because uh, I went and looked it I'm up. A, I'm a, why'd you look it up? It's clearly a scam. I assume they fix our terrible video quality. No. I'm painting something. Have you guys been paying attention? Because I haven't. Yeah, you're doing the right bit. Hey, I got Agro Her Shade. I'm going to use this up and replace it with something from Army Painter and see how that goes. Oh, this is probably for his face. Yeah. Oh, and his bony areas. So he's got these bone things kind of around his... Uh, he's got like know, a... It's like a bone fringe. You know, Skeletor is upscale BDSM. So He-Man is like basic. He found some fur underwear and a chest harness. Skeletor is like, I'm going to class this up. He's got he's got trim and he's got, you know, the metal studs. Um, yeah. And Skeletor is like, he's classy. He's, he's This is like formal wear. He's put, he's put some effort into his attire. This is BDSM black tie. Is yes. What this is. Yes. I'm offending the entirety of the BDSM community right yeah, now. Yeah, we're going to get some Because I, I know pretty much. Well, that'd be about time. If PDF, BDSM community, please like and leave a comment. We really need some engagement to impress Amelia at, at Topaz Labs. <laughs> what does Topaz Labs do? <laughs> they are one of the AI labs. Oh, an AI lab? Oh, we can have AI narrate one of our videos. That would be hilarious. Can we get chat? Oh my god. Could we use that chat thing? Uh, to all right, guys, leave us a comment. Let us know if ChatGPT should narrate a Crotone Entertainment video. <laughs> I don't know how ChatGPT works, but I assume it's some kind of robotic person who comes into your house and types in your computer. And do not take this away from me, Brie. We're going with this. <laughs> I'm back, baby. Anyway, we did the base up with the address. <laughs> I don't want vendor. I want calculon. Calculon. No. See, the script called for me to say yes. 
<laughs> so we're coming back with the bone white and doing a little bit of highlighting on Skeletor's skull. Because he's got to get, you know, he's got to get those cut cheekbones and his nice little. Well, actually, I think area. I'm doing. I think I'm actually doing with this. This is the yellow again. This is not bone white. This is the yellow again. He's supposed to have a yellow skull. This is just strictly unnecessary stuff. Oh, wow, that was a weird... Well, was, what sound did you do I there? don't know. I think I just died a little. Oh. I think Amelia just tried to take me out. Um, this is strictly a necessary step. If you don't want to have as crisp of a detail, you can you can skip that entirely. The wash will have done its job. Um, I just wanted to do it because I can't. Man, these dogs are being really loud tonight in the new Crotone Studios. I got these assorted greens and, and a white, apparently. What was I doing here? Uh, oh, gems. 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 I'm going to show you how I do gems. We already haven't we done a video on gems? I don't know. I just really like doing gems. Uh, you're not going to see it very well. I'm bad at this. We really need to work on how we. So you paint the gem black, and then you take whatever color you want to use. I used green, and you take various shades of that color. Okay, and you decide where your light source is if you're actually paying attention. I don't usually do that. I just usually do it on the right hand side because I feel like it. And typically, what I'll do is like the lower third of the black gem I'll do I'll fill in with the darkest color in kind of almost a crescent moony shape that goes all the way to the bottom mm -hmm. then I'll do a smaller little moon with the next color and a smaller moon with the next color and you go as many colors deep as you want and then when you're done you put an itty bitty little dab of white in the wow that was convenient that came up right there like that wasn't planned that wasn't and planned for the white to show up right then and you put it in the upper opposite corner from whatever side you ended up doing all your colors on. And from tabletop, it actually looks like a really cool gem. And it's a really just super basic technique. I read in a credit where credit is due. I read it in, a... in the in the Games Workshop model guide. Mm -hmm. Remember when they produced that like 600 page model guide? Mm -hmm. There was actually a lot of cool hobby tips in there and I stole we it from there. No, I'm lying. It. I didn't take it from there. I took it from the old 6th edition high elf rule book. But there were a lot of cool tips inside that book as well. Um, and I've been doing it. That one. So this is hexed purple, by the way. It's a, a, like purple that I like. I'm doing all the bases for the bad guys. Purple. In Clash of Eternity here. Um, but it's it's a really cool gem technique that over the years I've actually gotten a lot of people looking at it tabletop quality say, hey, this is actually really cool looking. What I'm doing right now, by the way, is when you rim a base, a lot of the times some of the paint gets underneath of it. I dab it on the paper towel so I can go ahead and put it on my table surface without destroying everything. Yep. Uh, so anyway, Skeletor is uh done we got skeletor ready to go we can get him uh matted up and he can hang out with he-man and uh get ready to take That's, on the world in clash I mean, for eternia this is an amazing picture this is so good this is, this is, a, this is a fantastic picture <laughs> you know not too but many anyway, artists did this that. this is what skeletor actually looks like when we're skeletor. done so we got a great looking skeletor we've already got a great looking he-man i'm sure there's other models in this box we have to get painted mm. um but join us on tuesday for tabletop tuesday wednesday for wargaming wednesday thursday for things we like thursday and friday for formation friday and i am considering we'll see how things go uh I've, it's been said to me a couple times i'm considering doing some streaming on saturday or sunday what we'll get to that okay long away in the future thank you for watching like and subscribe hit the bell for notifications good night bye